Um, earlier today, I was a bit nervous. Um, I don't know why. I just had like two hours before I actually left my apartment that I was like, oh gosh. Um, but once I got to the stadium, it felt totally normal. And um, I mean, the guys made it really easy. They played so well tonight, uh, first half especially. So um, you know, it made my experience very enjoyable. Um, no pressure at all coming on, obviously, and just got to really enjoy myself and kind of um, you know, just take it all in. So, Adam. What was it like just stepping on the field and then dealing with the speed and all that? Um, actually, I, I wasn't, it wasn't too bad. I mean, again, it was 4 0, so it's hard to, it's hard to say. Uh, I think the real tests will come um, maybe Wednesday or, or the weekend when you know, it's a bit tighter, uh, the field is a little smaller. I mean, Home Depot Center was made for soccer players like me, you know, guys that run and um, you know, are dangerous guys because there's so much space. So. Uh, that's really exciting. I'm excited for future games, but um, you know, stepping on the field today was. Uh, I just got to kind of enjoy it and um, be back. Josie, uh, what's going through your mind as you, the fans start standing and you're standing ovation coming into the match? You know, what's, what's on your mind there? Um, <laughs> I just. I, I mean, if you would have saw my face, probably just had a huge smile of enjoyment <laughs> of um, just okay. I'm back. This is normal. This is great, very supportive. Um, so I, I keep saying the word normal, normal, but it, it was. And once I got on and, you know, obviously the support, I just kind of zoned in and was hoping to maybe get a goal or, or something. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, so it was just good to be back. You know, I'm excited to move on from here. Scott. Uh, how do you think you played? And is that really, does that really matter at this point? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I only had a few touches. Um, so, yeah, I was happy to get a few touches. And I, I thought my running felt, you know, pretty good. I felt like, you know, I haven't lost too much speed. Um, but again, it was, you know, 4-0. I think Seattle today wasn't at their best, and I'm sure Ziggy will say the same. Um, so it, it was it was just good to be back and get uh, my feet wet. It's a follow was this a bit special in that one? You're playing for your hometown team, the team yeah. you wanted to come back to, and you're playing against the coach who you've known since you were seven. Yeah, uh, you know, um, a, a close friend. Of yes, yes, team. yeah. It was all. It was perfect. It was really perfect. You know, we won, which is most important. Uh, my family was here. My friends, uh, my grandparents who live in Palos Verdes. Um, you know, I got. I think the first training session the Galaxy ever had on the Home Depot Center pitch. I was here training with the Galaxy as a youth coach. So uh, I've kind of been on this huge journey to kind of figure out my life, and now I'm back here. I think kind of where I'm supposed to be. Phil, Robbie, after a couple of weeks of training and just being out there with the guys, has it clicked in yet that now you're a member of this team? You're a yeah. Galaxy? Yeah, <laughs> I think it clicked in when Armando the physio was just like, all right. Like, you're part of the guys now. Like, you know, we got to discuss things, you know, injuries or whatever. And I was just like, oh, true. So, obviously traveling tomorrow and, you know, you got to start really taking care of the body. And, you know, I got in the ice bath after that, even though it was only, what, 10, 15 minutes. Um, but it's just back to to the grind of finding ways to be successful and kind of getting that edge above uh, other athletes. Billy. I understand you spoke with your sister today and that yeah. sort of helped calm me down. Yeah, I was driving over here and had to give, I gave her a call. Um, because I just needed to hear someone's voice, kind of. It, it, we were talking about my dog, so uh, just kind of get my mind off off things. And um, I don't know. I guess part of me was just afraid, not afraid, but just a little nervous. I guess you know. I, I understand that. You know, I guess historically this is a big thing, but for me, it's just another soccer game. So I'm kind of battling with both of those things. Like, hey, it's just a soccer game. I've done this a million times. But then, obviously, I know I'm not naive. I know people are watching, you know. So, um, you know, I'm excited to get to my apartment and kind of just be by myself and were, take it in. Were the, were the nerves, did they come from, like, oh, I don't want to screw up? Or no, no I think the nerves the are, um, be, I think it's that, you know, I haven't played a game for so long. <laughs> so I'm a competitive person. You know, I want to be... Um, the best I can be. So, you know, I want us to win. Um, I want to be successful. So the nerves are, all right, this is, soccer, this is game day. 
um, you know, we need to win and hopefully I can help our team win and just kind of putting my back, my, putting myself back in a situation where I haven't thought about that for a long time and it was kind of just all these emotions coming back and obviously I know a lot of people were watching tonight so it was like all of those things uh, um, for about two hours kind of had me going but uh, after that was fine. There we go. Uh, Robbie, what else do you, what do you hope to um, achieve in the rest of your time with the Galaxy? Oh gosh, I'd love to win another championship. I would love to. Um, winning here in 2008 with Ziggy and the Columbus crew was amazing. So um, they've got a great team here. I mean, amazing group of guys, uh, great coaching staff. So I don't see why not, you know, I don't see why not. So that would be um, really huge for me if I could get another uh, cup.